Hey, so we're going to teach you how to remove and repair a bladder for RRD. Uh, there are a few things that we need. A little powder, a patch, a bar, or any bit of string you can find, really. A weight or a little helper. <laughs> so our issue today is that we have a hole by the right side of the wingtip. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out just one edge of it, not the whole bladder. So we're going to go through a few steps with you. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is to disconnect uh, the valves and the valves from the strap. So first what we're going to do is we're going to pull these valves in. So here we have one. <coughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so here we have the two valves. Here we're going to disconnect it from here. And then just do the same that we did with the box, but with this one all the way in. Here we go. All right, so once we disconnected the box, we want to look in this case for this zipper here. This is where we're going to take the leading edge, sorry, the bladder okay. out. But before doing, that, doing this, we have to go for the second step. And the second step is opening the tip the end of the bladder because we want to attach a string to the bladder so when we pull it out then we can pull it in easy. So there's a velcro here by the leading edge what we're going to do is we're going to take it out so that the bladder can actually come out and we can attach a string to it. Exactly when you attach the string make sure it's like very tight uh, make sure it doesn't go off because if it does like you screw the whole process like <laughs> there's no way to go back here so Kara you want to hold here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm using uh, a bar, but you can use also use like a, another kind of string, kind of right? And <laughs> just for the sake of it, a little improvisation. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So the third step is actually looking for a buddy. Uh, you can compensate with a beer after <laughs> the helping, or just use it also as a weight. So. Exactly. So if you don't have a buddy. Um, I'm sorry for that, that's a bit sad, but you can also use a weight, so you put it um, on the tip, so this way when you pull through the zipper, when you pull the bladder, um, you have a little bit of tension, so it slides out easily, if not, you can use your friend, so in this case, Carolina's going to be helping here, and so I'm opening the zipper here, looking for the bladder, here it is, you want to pull like gentle, all the way out. Carolina is helping there by pulling it in. So here, he's starting to comb the valves. The valves are going to come out as we pull, so you have to watch out for them. Stuck. All right, so what is happening here is that this thing got stuck a little bit um, around the Velcro. You just help it at the beginning. You pull it in like this, make sure it goes through this velcro step. Okay, and here we go. Now should be easy. Okay. Now much better. Ah, we got it. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. So the fourth step here is disattaching this string, securing it on the kite, and then looking for the leak. Okay, so first I'm gonna undo our super knot and we are doing this so we can manip manipulate the bladder, in this case to find the, the holes. Now you have the string, the line coming out from here, right? You wanna secure it somewhere uh, to make sure it doesn't slide in because if this happens again, uh, very difficult to pull it in again, okay? So I'm just gonna use this elastic here for example and just do like a simple knot just, just to make sure, yeah, yeah, just to make sure it stays here while we repair this. And Caro, how are we going to find the, the hole here? Okay, well in this case we know exactly where the hole is, as I said earlier, is at the wing tip. But, if for some reason you didn't know, we would take the whole bladder out, put it, blow, blow it up, put it underwater, see where it's leaking, and then put a little mark on it so we can patch it. Yeah. It's not a bad idea to do it even though you know where the hole is, just to make sure there's not other holes, yeah. but today we're feeling a bit lazy, we're not doing it. <laughs> 
So the nuts that would be to actually find where the hole is, we've already found it. Just get like a quick alcohol rub for it to clean the area. Cut the patch to the size, not too big because it's actually better for it to fit quite good. And then you just stick it on. Okay, so now is when we're using the talc. <laughs> um, we're gonna put some talc inside the leading edge. So this way, when we slide the bladder in, it's gonna slide nice and soft, avoiding like twists like this, okay? So here, we're gonna start with the talc, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we put it in a little bit, okay? And <laughs> we go like this, shake, shake it. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> All right. So the idea is to pop it all the way. Yeah, it's just to give it and to kind of like reduce here. the friction on it, so it goes through better. Yeah. So look, we can also go here. It, it could Not be a here. bit less messy if you wanted to. <laughs> our style. <laughs> All right, so once we have this, um, uh, remember you need to attach again the string to the end of the leading edge. Very important. Sorry, the bladder. You do it. <laughs> All right. Can you go here? So that one here and the last one. Okay, now is when uh, your helper is essential again, okay? So she's gonna give tension as before, all right? And here is the most important thing. When we slide the bladder, we want to make sure it's flat, okay? So she's going to pull super gentle, and I'm going to be here making sure that it goes in flat, okay? So and I'm also that the valves are pointing in the correct direction. Exactly, that's what I'm checking yeah. right now, okay? So while she pulls, when you go slower, I'm just Take making track. sure this is flat and nice. Gentle, yep. Ah, that's too fast. <laughs> Don't do it too fast. <laughs> okay, if you don't do this right, when you pump the bladder, if there's a twist, um, you can pop it, okay? So this is actually the most, like the critical part. So we got a little stuck here at the end because when the end is coming through, it could get stuck in any part of the leading edge. So we just kind of got to look in and make sure to do it very slowly. And there you go. Okay, so now that we have the bladder inside the leading edge, we want to look for the valves to stick them out and connect them again, in this case, with the strap. So here we have the first one. I'm just pulling it out. This first one is out. We connect it again. Okay, so here um, we should use one of these things. Carol, how do you call these things? Like cable, cable tie? Yeah. So we will use one of these later to secure it. And now let's go with the inflate and deflate valves. We are going to do the same thing. I'm just pressing a little bit to see where the valves are. I see one is here, the other one is there. Perfect. So we stick one out here, the inflate valve, and the other one. Yeah. Okay, patience is a key, huh? good to have the price next to <laughs> to keep the motivation up oh it's not easy huh but here it is the chain Woo. so you're gonna find the end of the bladder uh, you wanna fold it like this all right like making a fan kind of okay and once you have it like this you can fold it like this Slide it in carefully. Okay. This step is important too, because if you do like, if you don't do it properly here, when you pump it, you can it can create like a bubble somewhere and it can pop. Okay, so make sure inside is flat and it's not like wrapped on itself. Okay, once you have it. Just fold it as it was before and slide this piece in. And here we go. So let's pump this up, see if we did it well. And done. <laughs> so 
now you just want to make sure that there's no leaks, so sit back, relax. 